Hi, we are Jan Montanari and Riccardo Bianchi, two students attending IIS Aldini Valeriani High School in Bologna. And this is a project for the nuclear contest. Nuclear energy could replace oil and coal since it's economically convenient and nuclear power plants are getting safer. There is a fine, the carbon tax, which is the tariff on the CO2 emissions of some nations in the world. It consists of paying a tax based on the extent of the maximum amount of CO2 and other greenhouse gases emitted. Furthermore, the cost of extraction and production of oil derivatives is increasing. This is why some nations are trying to replace fossil fuels with the nuclear energy, in all security. Finland, for example, operates this plan in Olkiluoto to reduce CO2 emissions and because it is economically viable. The project building the third reactor of a power plant is not financed by public money, but by companies that have pre-sold electricity. This is why this part will have to be built in a short time, or else it will accumulate interests. The power plant is anti-seismic and anti-terroristic, with a concrete base of 6 meters and two caps of 1.3 meters above. The core is protected by a steel and concrete shell. In case the core goes in runaway, there are safety systems with tank and waterfall cooling. There are four independent security systems, each of which would suffice alone and which need neither operators nor engines nor sensors to activate. The big problem of nuclear power plants though is nuclear waste which can have low, medium or high radioactive activity. The waste that comes from the old Kiluoto plant is stored in an underground geological deposit called Onkalo, 5 km from the power station. The centre is a spiral on the ground, 6 km long. The radioactive waste is protected by steel and boron containers, closed in copper capsules and isolated in Bentonet. So, in the end, we therefore know that such a plan, using nuclear power instead of oil or coal, is feasible, but not all countries are ready to make this change because of the reliability of fossil fuels.